Bernie, I've got something for you. Oh, cool, Mum. What is it? Well, open it up and see. Ooh, a jigsaw puzzle. Oh, looks interesting. But there's no picture on the box. How am I supposed to work it out? You'll just have to use that huge brain of yours, Bernie. Aha. OK. I guess I'll just spread all the pieces around and have a go. Trial and error. That's the way. But I can't even work out what it's a picture of. This is difficult. Don't give up, Bernie. Who said anything about giving up? It's tricky, but I'm determined. What is it about puzzles? Why are they so, you know, addictive? Something about them leaving you guessing. You've got to solve something. Yeah, whereas if you just get told something, or given something already finished, it doesn't seem to have the same impact. It's the challenge, I guess. Good teachers often leave you with work to do, don't they? They don't just give you all the information, they want you to think. That's the trouble. Then you have to write essays or take exams, and then they can see how good your thinking really was, or not. Exactly. Well, Jesus did the same, really. Did he? I thought he just taught the people, told them what was right and wrong. Well, sometimes, but what about his parables? Oh, weren't they just stories to sort of illustrate the point of what he was saying? Well, yes and no. Oh, I hate it when it's yes and no. Why can't things be simple? Well, some of the parables were a bit like puzzles, or riddles might be a better word. Jesus wanted the people to think. Think about what he was teaching them. Yeah, but he didn't set them homework or exams, though, did he? No, but in today's reading, Jesus says he uses parables so that the people won't understand. What? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Well, maybe it means a story with many levels. Huh, like a car park, then. Oh, Bernie... No, on one level, the parables are just good stories, which everyone enjoyed. But there's a hidden meaning, which you have to work at, search for, think hard about. Oh, and only the people who are really interested will bother. Yes, Jesus wants people who are prepared to dig a bit. And talking of digging, today's story is about a farmer sowing seed. Oh, is that like you? Planting your tomato seeds? Well, mm, maybe a little. I bet I can work that one out. If you want good tomatoes, you've got to have sun and water and protection from bugs. Well, maybe rather than guessing, how about trying to read what it says and see what you think then? It's in Luke chapter 8, verses 4 to 15. OK. Oh, looking at this puzzle... I think I can see some of the picture now. Good. There are trees and hills, I think. Mm -hmm. I reckon it's a countryside scene from, oh, France? You'll just have to keep going, Bernie. Oh, Mum.